And guys, we're coming with part two, how to make a southern po' man's breakfast, how to po' man's omelets. As you can see, I got the frankfurts in here, right here. Got the cheese going on. I mixed the egg and the milk together. And basically just wanted to sit, just to bubble up a little bit, and then you'll flip it. So let's give it a few more minutes. Oh, it smells so great. And look who's in the kitchen, y'all. She's like, oh, it's time to eat, mama. <laughs> oh, God. I swear, trying to remind me of that hound dog on the color purple when she was going to cook. Anyway. <laughs> wow. Guys, hope you're having a great, great, great Sunday morning. I really do. As you can see, it's beginning to bubble a little bit, and that's exactly what we want it to do. Wow. It's raining here, guys. It really is. It's raining. And while that's going on, we're going to cut it back down to seven, something like that, because you really don't want it to cook too fast when the mold is right. But I think what I'm going to do is add some more cheese in here just to get that melting thing going on the Frankfurt. So just give me a second, guys. But hey, this is what we do down here in the dirty south. We love to cook. Man, I'm telling you, you get up on the Sunday morning and it's raining outside. You got to go to church. You're going to probably watch football. You got to eat, honey. You got to eat. Got to eat. Got to eat. So I'm going to put a little bit more cheese in here because uh, I got china on the side of it to my old cheese, mom. If you guys don't think dogs like cheese, watch this. Watch it. China. China. You want some cheese, China? Yes, dogs like to eat healthy too. And look at here. Here we go. Somebody else ready to eat. So, guys, let me go ahead and push the uh, button up a little bit so we can go ahead and get some here because I got a cavalry in the kitchen. Just can't wait till I get through cooking. But anyway. Go ahead and put my ingredients back in the refrigerator, guys. Yep. Boy, smelling good, smelling good. Oh! And it's time. Wrap the cheese back up. At this point, you probably can turn it up to like seven or eight if you're, you know, pushing for time. And um, I am a little bit, but not really. I'm just ready to eat, guys. But anyway, I got mine on seven right now, so that's about where you really want it. And if you want to, if you want to, you can put more onions in it, but nope, not me. I don't need all them onions, you know. I love onions, but I don't like onions. If that makes any sense, that means I don't like too much onions. That's enough just to flavor the food. And really, if I had a substitute right now, it would be minced onions. Minced onion powder or onion powder. But, you know, the rest of the family, they do love some onions. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt. Not too much, you know, not for me. I... Trying to watch my cholesterol level. You know, I'm getting at the age now where you got to, and even though I don't have those elements like a high blood pressure and all that, because, you know, I I take care of myself because I believe that if you can't take care of the body, then, you know, then how you expect your body to take care of you? So, you know, right now I'm going to go on a, a 30 day diet starting tomorrow. So I'll be coming at you with some more different content. But see, this right here, put a little bit of black pepper, guys. I love black pepper. Oh, yes, and oregano, all those great things. But anyway, to make uh, time for your family, cooking a meal, man, that's probably the best thing ever, you know. If you feel like, you know, that you're not, you know, getting the love that you deserve, you cook a good, hearty meal and have a good sit down with your family. Turn the TV off, turn the computer off, get off YouTube, spend some time with your family, people. And just listen to everything. And thank God that you have a family. Because guys ain't too long for Thanksgiving. I'm telling you now. And don't nobody want to be alone for the holidays. Not even the men screwed up. So guys, it's going on pretty good. Yes, it is. And I'm going to prepare my kitchen so I can clean, guys, really. I love a clean house. Um, I cannot have anything else but a clean house. So that's cooking pretty good. Oh God! Pictures. Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> what anyway? That was a little private sidebar with the boyfriend. <laughs> He's doing something to really make me laugh. But anyway, get back to this uh, this cooking show here. Yeah? 
At this point, I like to turn it over. Oh god, this is smelling so good, guys. Oh my god. Looking good. Yes. And this time, I just like to take it and push it up. Don't stir it too much. I was going to make an omelet, but I'm going to make this to scramble my eggs, guys. Oh, this smells so good. So you turn it down a little bit. You guys are going to see how pretty and delicate it is. Um, maybe it'll scorch a little bit, but you know what? I promise you. It is going to be great. And that cheese get on top of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Patty, patty. And, um, you know, this is good for sandwiches or if you decide to make some grits. And, you know, some people like to make rice. You got to get your starch in. You can put it as an overlay or simply just eat it the way you want. I'm going to let you guys see how good it is, how, how good it looks. And I'm telling you, it smells just the same. It smells great. Great, great, great. Okay. Let me try to do this because uh, I'm getting some better camera. So when my cooking channel gets on point, guys, you'll see exactly why. Boy, yummy, yummy, yummy. You see the... And normally if I had me, I didn't get any tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I didn't think about putting tomatoes in it. But you see you got your hot dogs, your onion, your egg. Lots of cheese. Oh, my God. It smells so great, guys. And there you have it. Wow. Doesn't it look good, guys? Look at that. That cheese is melting just the way it needs to. And we call this the po', <laughs> the po boy omelet. Well, actually, it's the po', bo po boy scrambled eggs. But normally, it would have been an omelet. But, hey, guys, I'm telling you, it smells great. Now, let's do the taste, okay? We've got to get some reviews on this. Now, guys, it ain't no good. You know, my boyfriend will tell me. So, I'm going to set up for us to eat breakfast here. And you guys can see. Oh, wow. It's going to be great. Oh, guys, see how damp and cloudy it is outside, raining. But it's okay. It's okay. You thank God anyway. I never complain about the weather because no matter if you complain or not, it's going to be what it is. So, if you guys can see, I'm making a little sampler here for me and boyfriend. And we're going to see how he likes it because it's a new recipe that I am introducing to him. And uh, we'll see how it goes. See all that great cheese. Oh, wow. Delish. So, you guys are going to be great meal. Okay, and we'll put this on the back burner. And we'll get two forks. And we're going to have a taste with you guys. Let's see how it goes. Right. And quantum minds are new. How does this food taste? Well, how's the meal? Huh? How does it taste? It's good, bro. You can know that. There you have it, guys. Tastes good. Eat your food, yeah. But let me taste it for myself. Hey. It's good. Wow, guys. Here we go. We're going to taste it. Look at all that great cheese. Oh, my God. And the onions is just on point. I believe this is going to be banging. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that cheese. Oh, my God. It's so just the way I like it. Yes. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Lord, I put my foot in there. Mmm. And man, the frankfurters and the onions just come right on out. And I don't have too much salt in it. The pepper, you can take it, taste it, just tastes so great. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Now that's some good eating. You guys have a blessed Sunday. Peace.